Hey, welcome to the Realtors Toolbox. I'm Sean Carpenter. We're talking about the buyer counseling session. Five reasons to hold a buyer counseling session. This week we've already talked about identifying needs. We've talked about gaining control, building rapport, and today I want to talk about establishing expectations. You know, I think it's really important that before you even start working with these people, before they even uh, take any of your time driving around town looking at properties, that you've established the right expectations with them. What's your role going to be as their realtor, as their trusted advisor? What's their role going to be as your client? And can you count on each other? You know, working with, with, with buyers and sellers, for that matter, it's a bilateral agreement. You're working together to help them solve a problem. That is that they want a house. They want a bigger house, a smaller house, a house outside of town, a house inside of town, whatever it may be. So establishing the expectations is key. What about their time frames? What's their expectations on how long the process is going to take? Wouldn't you be uh, worried if your client said that they wanted to look at 100 houses before they wrote an offer? Well, that's, that's improper expectations. You could set the expectations that because we're spending time at this buyer counseling session, we shouldn't have to look at 100 homes. We should be able to look at maybe 5 to 10 to 15 before they're ready to make an offer. What if their expectation was that it was going to take a long time because they've heard there's not a lot to choose from? Well, once again, all the more reason to be having a buyer counseling session to identify the properties that are out there that fit their needs. What are their expectations as far as what their money is going to get for them? Now, I'm not sure where you're watching this at, but obviously you probably have clients in your marketplaces that have what we call a champagne taste and a beer budget. They want a $500,000 house, but they only want to pay $200,000 for it. Be very careful that you set those expectations up front because the last thing you want to do is to show them a $500,000 house, find out they can only afford the $200,000 house, and guess what? It's going to be really hard for you to find them what they like in this house in this price range. So establishing the right expectations is really going to be an important part of your buyer counseling session. Keep up the great work, get out there and build relationships, solve problems, and have fun. For the Realtors Toolbox, I'm Sean Carpenter.